Well, as to um, the value of the humanities, for me, it's always been a very existential reality. Uh, being curious about what it means to be alive and what it means to be creative and how all of the humanities in one way or another speak to this question of, of how have human beings sought to comprehend the universe that they live in, um, make things of beauty and power. And uh, for myself, literature was the first, but all of the humanities um, interest me profoundly on an almost philosophical level. Um, why are we here? Uh, and how to live a good life. I mean, uh, the breakthroughs in science and technology are, well, at this point, one could never have imagined even how sort of much innovation has taken place even in my uh, own career time. Um, but we still need the tools to understand how to adapt to new scientific and technological realities, how to respond with uh, wisdom and imagination. Uh, and the engineers are all lovely, but they don't usually package their materials with what this is going to mean to your consciousness and the consciousness of other people. Uh, it's, I mean, it's, it's extraordinary. The, already the social effects and intellectual effects of digitalization, um, language changes, all of these things that one thinks about as a, as a literature and writing professor um, style, uh, all of these things have are, are being profoundly changed by uh, things like cell phone texting and things like that. Um, uh, so I feel that the humanities is the place in which human beings sort of congregate now, in a way, to try to understand what's, what is happening to us. The research at the moment, well, for a while, we've all been seeing the rise and fall of theoretical approaches of one kind or another, and especially post-structuralist arguments and, and um, ideas have been explored. I myself think we've come to the end of this period of high theory, as it's sometimes called, and Many scholars are looking for a way of shifting focus quite radically. Uh, one of the things that I regret about literary criticism uh, up to the recent past has been the way it has become sort of rigidified into a study of the social conditions of authorship and the social uh, um, the social obligations and demands that are represented within literature, uh, the history of race, class, gender, all of those discussions have been enormously useful and exciting to people, but I think it's gotten a bit desiccated uh, that approach. It, it has become predictable uh, somehow. Mm -hmm.